This is video four of a section on outer planetary returns to their original position. And here, on this video, I want to look specifically at the Chiron return. Chiron's orbital patterns don't connect with the other outer planets or the other planets in the way that Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, as well as Jupiter and Saturn do. It doesn't fit the order, the, the numerical sequence of the planets and its rhythm is different, but that doesn't mean that it's not valid. I personally um, don't use Chiron as a transiting or progressing influence. I feel that Chiron almost completely is only valid as a point in one's horoscope to be evaluated in terms of character, but also to be transited with regard to uh, both confirming and eliminating old patterns of self-sabotage and wounding. However, the Chiron return at age 51, within six months either side of one's 51st birthday, Chiron in the sky would have come back to its original position. And this is a time, I believe, where the ideas that individuals have around words like integration, assimilation, holism, and self-acceptance become a far greater conscious issue than previously. Of course, the opposite side of this also counts, whereas at age 50, 51, uh, some individuals, instead of looking at things in a more integrated, assimilated, and hol holistic way, uh, remain in a world based on uh, fear, fragmentation, fracturing, dichotomy, and, and a, a, a refusal to look at the cause, instead just focusing on the symptoms. These are the people who will continue into old age, going to the doctor constantly about every ache and pain, whilst eating their processed food, not exercising and blaming the world for their ills. Whereas those who take responsibility for their lives, for their nutrition, for their well-being, for their lifestyle, and live with themselves in the terms of, yeah, I'm doing my best, then by age 51, the potential for a greater sense of self-integration, of unity, unity, and of um, a comprehensive understanding of how the world works. It becomes obvious. Self-sabotage patterns, both in oneself and in others, become obvious. And the, uh, it becomes impossible to ignore patterns of behavior in oneself at this age, at 51. And the Chiron return will make you either change those patterns or anchor them into reality. But if, the, if these are not good patterns, then Chiron will say, well, that's okay. You can stick there. You can stay the way you are if you're comfortable with it. Just be cognizant of it. And know that by choosing to continue in that same path, you then uh, avoid the potentials in the future for further evolution, but you will continue in that same path. Alternatively, and Chiron will turn, return will help you see things in a more integrated way. You will stop looking at individual situations, uh, issues, people, etc., and start seeing the whole thing as much more interconnected. That's the nature of Chiron, to teach us how everything and everyone is interconnected at some level. And there is a perhaps case for suggesting that with the compaction and compression of humanity on this planet, three and a half times what it was now when I was born, seven billion now as opposed to 2.1 or something like that, then there is this need for humanity collectively to start at least recognizing everyone else's space on this planet. The idea of separation through race, religion, gender is becoming, or political theory is becoming more and more archaic. And I do truly believe that at 51, the Chiron return, increasingly people are turning more and more to a holistic solution for both their and the world's problems. Catch you later.